Hello, I'm Christopher Mohalley, Training Manager for Riga Beloit. In our introduction to Evergreen EM video, we covered the features and benefits of the Evergreen EM product. Now it's time to talk about installing it into your HVAC system. Let's get started. The Evergreen EM was designed to replace the X13 OEM ECM indoor blower motor, which is primarily used in residential and light commercial applications. It can also replace similar competitors' models. The Evergreen EM should not be used to replace PSC indoor blower motors, that's motors with run capacitors. It should also not be used to replace the OEM constant airflow communicated ECM indoor blower motors, such as our Model 3.0 with the 4-pin communication connection, or the Model Eon with the 16-pin communication connection. Evergreen EM is built in four horsepower sizes, one-third, one-half, three-quarter, and one horsepower. It is also built in 115 volt and 208, 230 volt AC. All models are dual rotation, meaning they will operate clockwise or counterclockwise. They are also all pre-programmed. The motor is rated for 1070 RPMs. It is a direct drive 48 NEMA frame, meaning the frame is five and a half inches in diameter, the shaft is five inches long, and the shaft is one half inch in diameter. All Evergreen EM are built with permanently lubricated ball bearings. And Evergreen EM comes with a two year warranty. And all of our specifications are included in the installation manual, which can be found on our website, thedealertoolbox.com. Replacing the X13 motor with an Evergreen EM is as easy as one, two, three. First, identify and select your correct Evergreen EM model. Second, select your motor mount or use the existing motor mount. And third, connect the OEM wires and plugs. Let's get started. Selecting the correct Evergreen EM replacement to replace your X13 motor is really easy. First, you take your X13 motor and you can either look at the motor label or you can look at the control label. And what we're looking for is the horsepower and the voltage rating of the motor. We're gonna take that horsepower and voltage rating and apply it to the Evergreen EM identification chart. That chart lists all of our stock models for the Evergreen EM. So for example, here I have a one half horsepower, 115 volt X13 motor. I would go down the Evergreen EM chart and find that that is a 6105. The interesting thing about how we've identified the Evergreen EM motors is the 61, the one identifies that it's a 115 volt motor. So if it was 62, it'd be 208, 230 volt. Then you go to 03, which is third, 05, which is one half, 07, which is three quarters, and 10, which is one horsepower. So for the one half horsepower, 115 volt X13, we would use a 6105 Evergreen EM replacement. Now that we're ready to install the Evergreen EM motor, it's time to address, do we have the right motor mount for the job? Most X13 motors are gonna be installed in the HVAC system with a belly band style mount, which means you'll be able to loosen the belly band and pull the X13 motor out. Since the X13 is built with a 48 NEMA frame and the Evergreen EM is built with a 48 NEMA frame, that means the Evergreen EM will slide right into the existing mount, tighten it up, center the blower wheel, and you're all set to go. If the mount is not a belly band mount, we do have other style mounts, including some OEM mounts available on thedealertoolbox.com. One more thing to remember about putting a belly band mount around the Evergreen EM motor. Notice that there's vent holes in the shell, and there's also these little dimples in the shell. Between those two is where the motor mount should exist. Below the dimples is the open area of the motor shell where the electronics exist, and of course we never want to cover the motor vents. And now it's time to install the wires from the X13 over to the Evergreen EM. So we're going to go to the X13, remove the wires, which could either be plugs or individual wires. It's really up to the OEM how they want to connect the wiring to the X13 motor. So there could be all wires, one plug and one set of wires, or two plugs. Again, entirely up to the OEM. So we're gonna remove the plug and the wires from the X13 motor. 
What you might find very interesting about the X13 and the Evergreen EM is that they have the exact same plug connections. Not just the same terminals, but the exact same plug connections. Which means we will be able to take the plugs or individual wires out of the X13 motor and connect them directly into the Evergreen motor. Now that we've moved the wires or plugs from the X13 over to the Evergreen EM, the last step is to simply select the correct speed for the correct airflow in our heating, cooling, and or continuous fan operating modes. That's going to simply be accomplished by moving the speed taps from 1 through 5. The unknown is what the speed taps on the X13 were. The X13 is a programmable ECM. Every OEM can program taps 1 through 5 on the X13 for whatever speeds they would like in whatever order they like. So that means that every X13 you're working on may not operate the same as the last one. The speed taps might not be in the same order and they might not be the same value. So the easiest point to start from, I think, as a former contractor, is to simply connect your heating and cooling speeds into the Evergreen EM anywhere you like as a starting point, taps one and three, taps two and four, and simply turn on the system and measure your airflow in your heating and your cooling modes and make adjustments as needed. If you need more airflow, move the taps up in numbers on the Evergreen EM. If you need less airflow, move the taps down in numbers on the Evergreen EM. All Evergreen EMs are programmed with tap one as low speed and tap five as high speed. One more note, some OEMs will connect the speed taps on their X13 motors with individual wires. That makes it easy to adjust the speeds at the motor, but sometimes a little difficult because the motor's not always just sitting here like it is in front of me. The motor is going to be upside down mounted in the HVAC system and usually away from where you're working. If the OEM uses individual wires, we do supply a harness with the Evergreen EM, which means you can connect the harness to all five speed taps and bring all five tap selections back to the OEM control board where you can now make your speed selections at the control board. The harness also has all the speeds labeled by color at the end of the harness. So to wrap that up, once we get the motor installed, once we get the wires connected, which again is as easy as taking the wires out of the X13 and putting them in the exact same place on the Evergreen EM, the last thing we have to do is simply adjust our speeds for the proper airflow on our HVAC system. If we use the OEM harness and they have individual wires, that's simply a matter of adjusting the speed taps at the motor. If the OEM uses a plug connector for the speed taps or you wanna use the Evergreen EM supplied harness, it's as easy as adjusting one of the speeds right at the board on the heat and cool taps. So we have all the wires connected, we've selected our airflow, and the only thing we haven't talked about is rotation. If you remember earlier, I mentioned that the Evergreen EM is a dual rotation motor and that it is also automatic. So the first time the motor turns on, whether it's a heat call, fan call, or a cool call, the motor is going to turn on and run about 10 to 15 seconds in the clockwise rotation. Now that may not be the rotation you need it, and you'll notice that the motor is running fairly slow. It'll run for 10 to 15 seconds in this direction, then it'll slow down and stop, which is going to make you wonder what the motor is doing. Then it's going to turn on and run counterclockwise for 10 to 15 seconds. What the motor is doing is it's running the blower wheel in both directions at about 300 RPMs, and it's measuring basically current and it's determining which direction of operating the wheel takes the most current or most power to run the blower wheel. And then it's gonna make the assumption that that is the direction the blower wheel needs to go. So again, the motor is gonna turn on, run 15 seconds clockwise, stop, turn on, run 15 seconds counterclockwise, and then choose which direction to run. If it needs to run counterclockwise, it'll simply speed up to whatever speed you have selected. If it actually needs to run clockwise, it'll stop one more time and turn back on and speed up to the speed you've selected at the clockwise rotation. Also keep in mind that it will only run this rotation sensing sequence the first time the motor's turned on. Every consecutive start, the motor will simply turn on and run the direction that it's already automatically configured to. So to overview the installation of the Evergreen EM, we've installed the motor, we've connected the wires from the X13 into the Evergreen EM, We've selected the correct speed in our HVAC system for our heating and cooling demands by measuring the airflow 
and then making adjustments to those speeds if it's necessary. Keeping in mind that this is a best industry practice whether you, we're using a universal replacement motor or whether we're using an OEM motor. Last but not least, we highly recommend you take the supplied label out of the motor box and install it next to the unit schematic, writing down the horsepower of the motor that you replaced. This provides the next technician the schematic for the universal replacement product. It also provides them the 800 tech support number if needed. Evergreen EM makes replacing constant torque ECM quick and easy. With eight pre-programmed models and no complex wiring or configuration for your 115 and 208 230 volt systems. With factory programming, these motors are readily available at the counter and perfect for stocking in-house or on the truck so you can get the job done. Given regional use of 115 or 208 230 volt HVAC systems and common horsepower ratings used, you might only need two or three motors for the typical applications in your market. Evergreen EM also matches the efficiency and constant torque airflow characteristics of the X13. So while there are other X13 replacement motors out there, the Evergreen EM is the one contractors prefer. For more information on additional Evergreen applications and installation, please check out the rest of our Evergreen video series. <music>